Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we are again with another little project. If you guys seen my previous video, you know I had this thing jacked up because I was changing the front lower control arms. And I also changed the exhaust manifold to back to one of these OEM ones. You know, so right now, you know, the problem I've been having is getting it onto a ramp to get it aligned. So that's why I changed this for the meantime. And then the other thing I was thinking about is because right now, the exhaust fumes are just gonna go straight back and I'm gonna try to avoid that because I don't want all those fumes just getting underneath the car and onto the on, inside. You know, there's always holes on your shifter and everything that the fumes could end up back inside and you know, there's no AC, no, no vents into this. So I definitely don't want that inside. So I just got back from the junkyard and luckily they cut out the, the catalytic converters. So there was this piece, the exact piece I needed. So they had just cutting it off. So it worked out good. I think I paid like four bucks for this. I mean, still pretty expensive for what it is, but it is what it is. And then also went to AutoZone and got me one of these pieces. That way I could, you know, direct the, the fumes to the bottom of the ground, you know, push it down to the ground. And then another thing I'm gonna do is just cut this flush to the bottom of the pipe. Because like I said, I'm already having trouble with the car being so low to get on the ramp. And even this extra maybe inch or two that, that the drop has here might still hit the ramp. So I'm gonna try to avoid that as much as I can. So I think this project should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna bolt this piece down and then go in there and tack that little downspout to, to, the, to the back of it. That way I could just take it off and bolt it on and it should be good. And then the other thing I'm, I'm gonna do is remove the cat bag that's sitting in there. That way it just doesn't hang in there. And then we'll, we'll give this thing a start and see how, how rowdy it is, you know, because that's one of the things, you know, Hondas have gotten bad rep because you get young kids and they just cut their exhaust or something and then it sounds real nasty. You know, I kind of didn't even want to drive it like that, but you know, just to get it done, I want to get it aligned. And, and you know, this is my, my last chance pretty much before I go a different route. All right, so that's basically on there good enough just to make sure I could tack this one straight. And it should be pretty much ready to tack it up. So I'm just gonna tack it a few times, maybe just once, just to get it straight. So let me get my welder in here and give it a quick tack, pull it out and weld it all up. You guys can see the pipe if I bolt it down a little bit with a different angle I think it should clear down here because this is what I'm trying to avoid from it hanging down here and not going on the lift so what I, I think if I bolt it down strong right there at that angle I think I should be good that way I don't even have to cut this and then shoot it back pretty good so I think we should be good so let me just weld this and So here it is, nice and welded already, all around. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna have any leaks or anything. So it's pretty hot right now, so I'm just gonna let it sit here. In the meantime, I'm gonna sit here and remove that cat back. Take that whole cat back off from the back. All right guys, so here I have my cat back exhaust. So basically, this is nothing but custom. So a long time ago, I had a, I had a buddy that he had this thing laying around and I'm pretty sure it's an eBay cat back. And then over the years, you know, I've just modified it to work out for me. And you know, I hate, like I said earlier, you know, I hate that, that loud sound. So I bought one of these this Dynomax exhaust or mufflers and I put that on there and then you know just modify that angle to push it down to the bottom and it sounds fairly good you know for what it is you know it, it sucks because it's hard to find a good exhaust that sounds good you know and in catback everything just sounds so ricey so loud and it's kind of annoying 
So, you know, that's why I haven't gone out and, and bought a, a good cat bag because, you know, it's hard to find one. And if you guys know of any good ones, let me know in the comments. You know, I, I'm definitely open to any advice and maybe run into a good exhaust system down the road where it sounds pretty good. Because, I mean, I, I like it to sound stock. I mean, it's B16, so it's never going to be quiet. But, you know, you don't want to be waking up everybody while you're going down the street. So this should be pretty pretty cool now. So I'm gonna bolt this down, bolt it all down, and then we're gonna put the car down and start her up and see and see how loud she is. So as you guys seen guys, I did drain the transmission oil because I did replace that the axle seal and I wasn't 100% sure how much oil was in there. So I just decided to, you know, do new new oil on the transmission. And I, I highly recommend you guys to always go to Honda and just buy transmission, the OEM transmission oil if you don't know another better solution because if you go to AutoZone a lot of times you could run the wrong the wrong oil and you'll be grinding all the time so honda transmission oil is highly recommended on these things because these transmissions you know tend to grind a lot if you don't but yeah now all i gotta do is just bolt this down tighten them up lower the car and we can start her up see how loud she is all right guys so i removed my speed sensor from the transmission and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump the oil into it through there using this little pump. And it should take about 2.3 quarts. All right guys, so this thing's ready to start up with these open headers. It's time to give it a crank and see how this Type R sounds with just open headers. So I got my brother here with me, not wearing a shirt. He's over here trying to be a porn star. So, well, I'm gonna have him crank it, get get the car started. And I'm pretty sure it's probably not gonna start because the battery's dead because it's just been sitting here. So here we go, let's see if it starts. There it is. Honestly, it doesn't sound as good. <laughs> loud but not nothing too crazy so as you guys can see now we got a hundred percent clearance so basically if it doesn't clear the the traction bar I basically can't get up the ramps I mean the header sticks down a tiny little bit maybe half an inch under that but I think I think I should be good now I was gonna try to make it out today but it's already four so What's the point of getting there and then, you know, making the guys grumpy because you come there last minute. So I'm just going to wait for tomorrow for a better day. And also guys, if you guys know of any headers that actually sit flush, like OEM style, that put out good power, let me know. Because I'll be definitely willing to invest into some of that and get a re dyno to that. So let me know what you guys think or what you guys know. You know, I don't know everything, you know, I've, I've been out of the game for a long time. so. I'm basically renewing everything back because you know it's, it's been a long time since I've been really studying stuff guys once again I appreciate everybody watching and uh, until next time peace